in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually make a button. A button is something that you push and then do something, okay? So you can go to different places or you can make things happen in the screen. So in this case we have the world right here and this has become a button. Right now if I push, you know, I'm clicking on the button and nothing happens. So this world, the name that we use for the world is right here, button, right there, okay? So we're going to use that button, that name, for our function to make it work. So I'm just going to undo the code that we have right here. I'm just going to go like that. And you'll see what this code does. I'm just making it look nice. There we go. Okay. So what this code does, I'm just going to click Save, and you see what's going to happen right here. I click Save, and you see that nothing happened but when you click on the world then the color start changing and that's exactly what you want okay now what this function does pretty much is this you get the button the name of the button that you want to change and convert this image button world that image you want to convert that into a button so you have the name of that image and you put the same name in the function once you have the name here, you have to set the function, the beginning of the function and the end right here. Beginning, function, and end. So inside, that's where we write the code that we want to change. And this code pretty much makes all these changes. So what this code is doing is getting uh, three variables, R, G, and B. And remember, this R is just a name. I can put any name there and uh, this you can choose the name to whatever your game makes sense so this is a variable for r g and b for the colors so then this you say the variable r is equal to one of these numbers they're going to choose a random number between 0 and 255 so they say math dot random that's the code that you need to choose a random number. So the computer will generate one number between 0 and 255, let's say uh, 124. So that 124 will be here, and then the G will generate another number, and the B another number. So those three numbers, they combine the numbers, and the result number will be here. And that's when you get different colors. So what happened is each of these numbers is going to go to this area right here inside this parenthesis so what happened you get the name of the function that tap because you know you're gonna tap in the button and this is an event that is going to pretty much have all this like you have the event uh, like a wedding for your daughter or a big event in your school you know it's an event that's going to happen at least that's how I see it and then you have the text object so these variables this math random they're going to affect what? Well, you're telling here what is going to be affected. And the text object, we're going back right here, and this is the name. So these variables are going to be affecting this text object, which is pretty much the text right here that we have, okay? So then you say, well, this text object, you're going to set text color. That's what you're going. You're going to set the, the color pretty much of each time they get a random number and you finish your function that's it so with just with the function nothing will happen because you know the function is just right there you need to add a listener and I don't know why they use this word listener maybe somebody's listening that they have to do something or I don't really know why but that's the code they use so who's gonna add this listener who well the button that's the one you want to change right the button is going to add with the two column the column right there the button is going to add an event listener an event listener and then it's going to be what kind of an event is going to be a tap and then you're saying okay button pretty much do it okay so that's it you have this code and then when you save it of course you're going to be changing the color here so just to test to see if this pretty much really works let's say 
you want to change mm -mm, let's say you want to change the clouds right here okay so those clouds let's see if an image will work no let's say you want to convert the clouds into a button okay so now you have the clouds right here it's another image you just change here the word clouds let's see we're gonna test if this works okay there you go we're just changing the name there and there so if this logic works then it means that if I press the the world nothing will happen but if I push this clouds right here that I have in the background right here if I push those then this would be the button let's see let's see if that works say nothing happened I push the world nothing happened I push the clouds and changing that's just as I thought there you go you can click anywhere here in the clouds or this area right here you see so now the clouds are converted into a button so as you can see you pretty much with this function you can convert anything into a button and that will make ch the change in the color and of course buttons can do different things you push it and you want different things to happen in your game or your apps so whatever you want to happen it must be inside a function and later we'll see a lot of functions for many different things so pretty much everything you do in your application has to do with functions okay so that's how you do it. I'm just going to change it back to the way it was. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, we'll see you in the next.